some snow. And uh, I've been missing in action. Sorry about the missing in action. It is December 20th. And the December challenge, I have not been on track. There was three days where I didn't get outside. I didn't ride. I didn't walk. That's okay. There's 11 more days in this month, and I plan on um, I plan on getting out every day. I'm gonna stop riding for a second. Hopefully, you can hear me. I'm, I, my plans are to still get outside and ride every day, and I'm not even gonna keep track of mileage. So. And I'm, I'm probably going to do a separate video on this subject, but I am day six into completely quitting coffee, caffeine, cold turkey. I don't recommend it. Like, I don't even have my helmet on. <laughs> so I even hesitated trying to make a video or just trying to even record because I don't even know what I'm saying. Um... I've been drinking coffee for over 20 years. I don't, you don't need to know exactly how many years, but it's been over 20 years. I was just starting to feel not so great. I was starting to feel dependent on coffee and like I needed it every day. And I was drinking way too much of it. And, um, you know, five years ago I quit alcohol and it was the best thing I've ever done in my life. Best decision. Uh, I've ever made. I don't miss it now. I don't think about it. Alcohol used to be a big part of my life and it's not anymore and I actually feel very proud of the fact that I don't drink and I kind of wear that as a badge of honor because I think it's pretty badass to go through life without some kind of, um, I see the brain fog. That's a side effect, I think, of the no caffeine. With some kind of crutch, dependent, you know, something that gets you through the day. And coffee was starting to be that for me. It was like another drug that I needed to have. And um, I quit cold turkey because I thought it would be the best thing for me. I don't recommend it. I think I've already said that. <laughs> But I didn't know if I just cut back and had um, a cup of coffee, if that would just trigger you me to want to have more in the afternoon. And um, I'm sort of all or nothing kind of person. When I make my decision that I'm gonna do something really wholeheartedly, I just go for it and I dive in. And um, I have not had headaches, which is very surprising. I'll talk about it for a few minutes here. So I had like a slight headache one night. Um, the brain fog is, um, is out of this world. And I substitute teach. <laughs> and I went to school yesterday and I, I probably shouldn't have been there. I was just, I struggled. I mean, I could have sat down next to the second graders and been like, hey, will you guys teach me? I mean, it was, it was bad. And um, so the brain fog... Uh, I so the negatives so far, and I'm day six, so they from what I've read because I've researched it a lot that you can have side effects for you know up to two weeks or even a month. So I'm prepared and I'm ready, and I'm like, I don't care, throw it at me because I'm tough and I can take it. But um, I've had really bad muscle cramps, which is very strange, and I've been making sure I've been drinking lots of water electrolytes and I've been having weird calf cramps and the, my back hurts and I was tired like the first couple days I was tired but one of the big benefits I noticed day two I had like this lift like I wasn't anxious anymore I've had like and maybe that's part of my you know 
mood that I talked about the one day biking helps me you know when I get kind of down I think the caffeine was kind of like this roller coaster with me I was going up and down and up and down and uh, my mood's been now I have been a little irritable and that's part of the withdrawal that I read but man I don't have anxiety it so I just know the benefits are just gonna be better um, so yeah the fatigue is kind of interesting I've been sleeping like the dead like the last couple nights my sleep has been so my energy level it, my sleep has been great my energy level is um, you know not like it was but I was using coffee a lot and um, but my memory is just it's it's kind of scary it's like um, like I'm forgetting things I'm kind of doing one thing and then I'll go do another thing and forget what I was doing and just I feel like I've got this extreme I don't want to even say a hangover but that's what it feels like it feels like I have like a the weirdo in my head I've got a weirdo in my head the weirdo going on but almost all day long and um, you know I'm here <laughs> and uh, I'm getting outside so the challenge um, I think I bit off a little more than I can chew as a new youtuber trying I thought maybe I could upload a video every day and try to come up with new ideas but I just really wanted to get out there in December and inspire people to get outside and ride or hike or walk and um, so for the rest of December because I might do another challenge but it just might be just to get outside every day um, just continuously even if it's for 10 minutes because I feel the outside is just so beneficial so for the rest of December I'm gonna get outside every day on my bike I don't care for how long it could be 10 minutes I'm not gonna do the five miles it's just getting outside because we're supposed to get some severe snow but I might be able to do some cool rides if they groom some different places so um, I did ride the trainer today for a little bit and now I'm just gonna the air and maybe it'll help my brain and uh, I'm gonna go see if the cows are out if I can even make it down the trail because you know it's a little it's interesting out here so that's and I was kind of tucked in the tree so I could talk to you that's the story of the bike packing wanderer um, if you've ever and I'll keep doing updates on the caffeine thing if you have a question like actually quitting caffeine or giving up coffee I recommend it even if it's just for like 30 days or 60 days although I have a feeling that if you've been consuming caffeine for most of your life that to really maybe see any kind of benefit you're probably gonna have to do it more like 90 days because I think it's gonna take a while for it to um, get out of your system but you know I was really expecting all the headaches and I'm not someone that gets headaches if I get a headache it's usually I'm dehydrated um, but I have so it was like a slight headache and it's really strange because it's not in the morning it's at night which is interesting uh, I've been drinking caffeine free tea so I didn't even do decaf and that's a whole other subject and blah 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 I got a frother and uh, this thing is just um, so it's this frother and I can froth like half and half or you know heavy cream or almond milk or whatever oh it's a game changer so I got some really great tea and like vanilla vanilla uh, see there's the brain um, honey vanilla there we go I got some honey vanilla it's so good and then I froth a little milk so it's like a tea latte and because I love a warm drink I mean, I, li I love coffee, but I think it's just like, get me a warm drink, and I think I can do this. And um, so I'm, I can't wait for the benefits, and I'm already feeling better, like, mood-wise, and um, the energy thing will come. Like I said, no pressure. I'm just going to get out for the next 11 days and get outside and get some fresh air. And, uh, you know, that's what it's about. I'm off for a few weeks. For Christmas break and uh, that's the story
I thought that was gonna be about biking. See, like right now my calves are so sore. Like, it's, it's the weirdest thing. for you. And I missed my bike. Um, I did. I miss bike packing. I miss getting on my bike and driving riding somewhere and sleeping out under the stars. And I've been thinking about possibly doing a winter bike packing trip. might throw a couple days in there of staying in a hotel. I like my hat. And it, it's almost like the, it's like seriously <laughs> now I kind of feel loopy. Um, it's like my attention span is just all over the place too. Now I got this new hat. I like the bobber. But, oh, let's go see if the goats are out. Probably come say hi. Oh shit. Well, hi. Yeah. Whoa. 
Oh, hello! Hi! <laughs> well, how are you? Huh? Hi, cutie! Hi! Hi! How are you guys? It's okay, I won't scare you with the bike. Hi! Can you stay warm in the barn? Hi, cutie! Hi! So I come say hi. Kiss me here. Here she comes like the rays of the sun she shines. For ten out of ten, Lord, she's no less than a dime. taking a walk or getting outside and I'll see you next time thanks for watching Merry Christmas